Good morning Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog for Sunday, June 28th, 2015, around 8.05 in the morning. This second video blog subject of the day is about the direction uh, that the Boston Bruins are taking in the t for the upcoming NHL season 2015-2016 season. The Boston Bruins finished out of the playoffs picture last year even though they had 96 points but they were very very inconsistent they fired the general manager peter shirelli hired donald don sweeney as the new general manager and the first thing that don sweeney did was to trade defenseman doug hamilton for the to the calgary flame for draft picks and then he traded forward milan lucic to the la kings for draft picks and Doug Hamilton and Milan Lucy were two very popular players by the Boston Bruins, but the Bruins could not re sign Doug Hamilton to a long term contract. And Doug Hamilton is going to be a f free agent, an restricted free agent on July 1st, and the Bruins were kind of f afraid that a team would give. Doug Hamilton an offer sheet of six to seven million dollars. The Bruins would probably would have to match that offer, and and the Bruins are up against the salary cap, plus in addition, like the Bruins tried to negotiate a long term deal with Doug Hamilton, but they were unsuccessful before the draft. They would talk about a bridge deal, maybe two years before he could sign a long term extension. Doug Hamilton is like getting to be a great defenseman and stuff and the Bruins missed the opportunity to keep him long term and they had no choice to trade him to the Flames and he he's going to be a, probably a top defenseman in the NHL in the near future and, and wouldn't be that something that Doug Hamilton becomes Noah's trophy winner next year the Bruins could have had him for a good price that's a, that was a disappointment. And then the Bruins trade Milan Lucci's to the LA Kings for draft picks plus a backup goaltender, Martin Jones. And Lucci's was a, like, a very good fan favorite by the Bruins fans and stuff like that. But Milan Lucci's offensive numbers haven't been great. He only scored one year, scored 30 goals. And, and most of the times he was so inconsistent and stuff. And a lot of the Bruins probably just gave up on him becoming like a star player, a superstar player. He had one more year left on his contract, $6 million, and the Bruins were not going to re-sign Lucci's to a long-term contract with that kind of money. So they had to trade him to get some value in return because he would have been an unrestricted free agent in July of 2016, and the Bruins probably would have not gotten anything for him. And that was maybe a you know, decent move by the Bruins getting rid of him, even though the fans don't like that. Also, there's rumors that the Bruins are looking to dump more players. There's talk about Lee Erickson being traded. Talk about, like, Riley Smith being traded. Also, there's rumors about Sedana Chara, the captain of the team, being traded and stuff like that. But he's he has no trade clause, plus he's getting old and stuff. And also... The Bruins re-signed Adam McQuaid to like a four-year contract worth $12 million, but Adam McQuaid's hurt a lot, so he, they won't get too much value for that. And the Bruins are saving a lot of money by dumping some salary set for maybe, hopefully, maybe they could be signing a big free agent come July 1st, but I don't see that happening and stuff. I think the Bruins are kind of rebuilding to become a better competitive team. They have some good players in Providence. They hope this draft they had is going to turn them in the right direction. And and the Bruins need to be like competitive because the fan base is so loyal there. But I think next year the Bruins look like they're going to have a look of a last place team. There'll be more salary dumping maybe during the season or maybe before the season because the Bruins are really up against the salary cap which is going to be seventy one point four million dollars next year and they're not going to be adding any big time players and 
anytime soon and you know could be a very very long season for the Boston Bruins in 2015-2016 looks like they're projected to finish in eighth place in the Atlantic Division by many experts so far unless if they do something good in free agency which I don't really expect the only untradeable players for the Boston Bruins in my opinion are Patrice Bergeron who's the center and Tuka Rask who's the goaltender even though a lot of people said that he makes a lot of too much money and he's an iffy goaltender he won the Vesna Trophy in 2014 he's, he's probably a top goaltender he was he was overworked last year it's, it's not his fault that he gives up some bad gold and stuff he was overworked because the Bruins did not have a have a, a like reliable NHL quality backup goaltender it's not his fault in my opinion it's I think with like Don Sweeney's probably going to build maybe a championship caliber team for the Boston Bruins give him give him some time give him a couple of years the Bruins will be right back as a force in the National Hockey League within a few years it probably might be some lean years for the Bruins in the next few years but keep Kane in there Bruins fans Bruins will be back in the cup final contenders in due time and that's about it on that we'll be back with later two more video blogs later on in the day have a good day Facebook YouTube and Twitter bye now